this. There's a baby. Hey, baby, baby. We are actually attempting this right now. So, we're doing basically everything wrong in deer hunting, but we're trying to do this as a, as a family. We're literally just got here, and we're just trying to be quiet and do some scouting. There's a buck ahead of us that I, I want Stephanie to shoot. Shh. Good God. You can't do that. You can't do that. It's true. All right. This buck, this buck is a really nice eight point. It's an eight point call.
this buddy might be showing up that 10 point yeah probably gonna scare him off but that's okay that's the thing like circumstances have to line up like no cows have to be there the pigs can't run them off you can't make any noise the kids can't, be the kids can't make it like your phone has to be on silent Ah, oh, you need some help opening your milk? Yeah. All right, OSG is holding baby Ben, about to make some chili and cornbread. First I'm making child number one, some dinner. Yep. This is interesting, to say the least. You know, last time I was out here at deer camp, it was all about getting everything ready, trying to get everything ready for the gals and uh, and baby Ben to come out here all together and really for OSG to get in a blind, get some experience looking at deer and hopefully take her first deer ever. You know, I've been watching the cameras like crazy. Found this buck, I saw that he was a corn hog. You guys saw that tonight. I think he'll stick around with all the noise if the wind stays like it is. Uh, I just mean like miles per hour wise. It's actually going to come out in the north tomorrow. It's going to get much colder. So our wind direction is going to be great, but also just the noise, it, moving the trees around. Um, it, it really helped when we were making a ton of noise in the blind. So there's absolutely no way we could be in a bow blind all together. Uh, Emmy, you just you just can't do it. I'm sorry. I love you. You did really good. Yeah. Um, and I, I like the way you were using your hunting voice, your quiet voice, and you did it pretty much the whole time. We only had to get on to you like twice. Yeah. But when we're in that little box, we just gotta use our, our hunting voices, right? Uh. Yeah. I feel like we did the right move tonight. We may be regretting this tomorrow. We may be saying, dang, we should have, <laughs> we should have just pulled the trigger. But um, I wanted to make 100% sure that she was confident, I was confident uh, that we- I think all of it. Good job, baby. Good job, I'm proud of you. Um, I wanted to be 100% confident that when she's on the trigger, everything is is perfect and there's all the nerves are gone and everything, there's confidence. We're gonna cook up some chili, some cornbread, have a little shiner bock, and tomorrow's another day. We're gonna head to the range, get her confident, and then get in the blind eventually again. And hopefully, old big, big G2 eight point comes out again. Alright y'all, we're here at the range. It is moment of truth. What she doesn't know is I'm going to leave a round out and just see if she flinches on the first one. The rifle that we are using is my brace built sleeper in 308. Uh, this is a really good long range rifle. It's built for 
shooting groups under a, a quarter <clears throat> quarter MOA. The reason I chose it for hunting with Stephanie is because a 308 and like a 6.5 Creedmoor, especially if you put a can on them, they're really not really nice on the shoulder. You know, it's it's not a, a big impact. It's not like shooting a 30 out six or seven millimeter or you know one of those bigger calibers. Uh, so it's really nice. I want her to have a good experience with it. And it's got just an amazing trigger built in it, uh, which I think is also good for beginning rifle hunters, just to have, uh, uh, almost have that gun surprise you a little bit. And so you're not flinching. So let's send a few down range, see if she can pling some steel. Just gonna have you get on the gun. Okay. Get lined up. We use this pad to make it go up and down to get your elevation right. Lean into the rifle with your shoulder. See the target at all. <laughs> don't see Do it. you know how to aim? That's key. <laughs> I don't see oh, it. <laughs> so you're hot, you need to go up. So you need to squeeze the pad yeah. up. Well, I'm gonna take a shot. Okay. Alright, you look good now. Go ahead and squeeze. Okay. Ooh. I did not. Oh. I wanted to see if you'd flinch. This is going to be about a two hour process just to get her on the gun and take a few shots to get comfortable with a sighted in gun just because we got Emmy running around. We're trying to let her know like how serious this is being around these, these firearms. She's yet to hear her first shot yet. And then we got Ben. He's just had to be nursed, just had to be changed, and now he's taking a nap in the uh, in the meat wagon. Now we're gonna get our first shot. So you're good to go. Uh, so you gotta chamber that around. Uh, when you chamber it, put it on safety. Push it forward, push it down. There you go. You're chambered. Okay. You just gotta take your safety off. Nice gentle squeeze. Okay, fire away. You hit steel. Woo! Good job, baby. Now you see the little metal target next to it, to the right? Mm -hmm. That's what we're gonna go after next. So okay. take that round out, just unload the bolt. Okay. All right, here we go. Chambered. Yes! Woo! Now that will kill a deer, baby. You just hit a, a pie-sized plate at 100 like, yards. Woo, I'm shaking. <laughs> but I like I have to calm myself down. Yes. That was perfect. That's all you got to do right there. You got your heart rate up a little bit. Yeah. To the left of that, there is a, a high-vis target. Okay. It's got rings on it. Just try to aim for that bullseye. Amazing. Did I get it? I can see it. You can see it? Woo! You hit the bullseye. You just yes. touched the bullseye. Woo! That's all you got to do right there. All right. Okay. Now, this is a very stable platform, obviously. Mm -hmm. You've got two supports, front and back. In the deer blind, we're only going to have one support. So, we need to practice that shot. Uh, we'll do the same thing. We'll shoot for the steel, and then we'll shoot one at the high vis, and then we'll be good to go. Okay. Real life scenario you're in a blind. You're in a really crappy blind right now, okay? It's uh, it's leaning, it's not the best, but you've got my little uh, my little cushion pad. We're gonna set the rifle on this little rest, and you're gonna have to balance your back end. You're not gonna have both supports, and I want you to hit the small gong, the little circular one on the right. Okay. So hit that one, and then uh, we'll get a shot on the high vis. This is all this is all part of it right here. Remember, you don't want to be leaning back. You want to be leaning forward. Okay. Actually feels pretty good. Yeah. All right. We're going to let you give it a shot. All right, Emmy. Stand back. Just load your round. You nailed Woo! it. Good job, baby. <laughs> good job. Man. All right. We got one more test, and that's hitting that high vis. What do you think, Emmy? Your mom's doing pretty good. Can't even hear me. 
Remember to push in, push into that piece of wood. Okay, I heard it. Where did he, where did we hit? It's time to go check. It's still in the bullseye. Really? Yeah. All right, baby, Woo! good job. I would like good to keep job. that. <laughs> okay, well, you did great. Go ahead and unchamber that round. Set the rifle to the side and uh, you did great. Woo! You did fantastic. Emmy, give me a high five. Good job, Mom. All right, show us your target. Oh, I'll show them because I'm pretty proud of this. You should be. And that's the only practice we're going to be doing today, right? That's it. <laughs> I, think, I think we end on confidence, that's don't it? you? I really like the scenario we did there. That's pretty realistic for what's going, what's going down. Look how precise I was. I mean, you are straight up and down bullseye edge of the bullseye both shots it doesn't get much better than that honey that's really good and even on this this target right here so i can see your fresh shot straight in the middle. right there in the middle and then these two right in the middle right in the middle so you did, you did really good you absolutely nailed it yes. you are ready to go sit in the deer blind now I'm a little now shaky. he's got to come out i know i'm a little <laughs> shaky and last night did you tell him we were we were practicing on our where to shoot. Yes. Just trust me where I tell you to place place the bullet. Shooter is on. Baby Ben, how did you do? You did good. You're just sleeping. You're just sleeping, little bud. Yeah. You slept through the whole thing. Oh, wow. I cannot believe how great he's been doing. He's fantastic. Well, he's had several blowouts, but if that's the only thing, I'll take it. And uh, Amy, you did good too at the shooting range. You did great. Yep. You can take your headphones off now if you want. You want to take your headphones off? I think she likes them. She yeah. says she's ready to go home, which okay. is where the camper is. All right, well, let's head to the camper, get some lunch, and talk uh, strategy for this evening. OSG, I'm ready, we ready for, to do this? <laughs> I'm ready for shooting a deer. <laughs> like my outfit. Not I, I really. have a camo jacket. Okay, you got any face paint? I don't. Don't worry, I got some. Can I like, can I go like this? Not really. Because it's too white? That's like a pink and white paisley. Well, maybe they like it. <laughs> maybe it's the deer doubtful. like it. It's doubtful. Uh, Amy's playing with rocks. So, no big deal. We just got to get baby Ben. Yeah. And it's pretty much go time. 4.30. Okay. Uh, this is when we said we were going to head out. So let's right. head out. Let's, let's go do it. Let's go get him. Thankfully, I don't. he hasn't nursed in a while. So maybe once we get in the deer blind, I can nurse him and kind of calm him down and get him back to sleep. Uh, oh. All right. Let's get you in the deer blind, buddy. Away, That'll calm you down.
sure? You hear him? He's bleeding out. I saw him bleeding. Are you sure? I saw him. I'm sure. I saw him bleeding. I saw him bleeding. Babe. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. Oh. Baby, he's still sleeping. Oh my gosh. Amy, do you know what just happened? She has no idea. Oh my gosh. And I think I had the safety all the way up because I was pressing it and it didn't get off. Oh my gosh. So she's pressing it and I was like, it's, it's okay. Like... Uh, it, he went perfect broadside. Oh my gosh, y'all. Good shot. I think that was a really good shot. I saw him bleeding out really good oh. as I was running. So just, just leave it in there. It's fine. Okay. Oh my gosh, y'all. Just With got two a phenomenal eight. There it goes the right now. Phenomenal eight point buck. With two kids. With two kids in the blind. <laughs> you are a super mom. <laughs> I need to win an award for that. Oh my gosh, babe, I am shaky. Good job. Good I'm job. Too. Holy cow. That was. That was nerve-wracking. You did great, though. You waited. Did you feel good with the shoulder pad under there? Yeah. Everything solid? Yeah. I felt really okay. solid. I didn't feel shaky. Okay, great. I was just, he was constantly going yeah. up and down, up and down. It's right behind the crease. Yeah. Easy squeeze. All right. The shot, I, I heard the shot hit. Did you? And I wasn't, I didn't, I didn't see where it impacted, but I saw him bleeding really good as he, run, he ran away. I'm just gonna sit here. I'm gonna watch back the shot on the camera. And we're gonna see how we did. Amy? <laughs> Mommy just got a deer. I got my deer. <gasps> I got my deer. <laughs> did you even know what happened? Did you know? Did you know what happened? Did you know there was a deer out there? <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all. It almost didn't happen. Because the does ran off. They smelled something, heard something. Could have been the hogs coming. But he came back. He was an absolute corn hog. And I set a bunch of corn out in front of the of the fence, and he just he just came right back to it. Gave Stephanie enough time to settle in, but he was spooky. He's really spooky. He did a good job because I was trying to tell you like, okay, wait, yes, yes, no, oh, stop. Hey, we. It was a miracle. We got 30 minutes in here. So here, let me take the camera from you. Oh my gosh, good job. Good steady shot. Okay, I can watch it frame by frame. Oh, no, I grazed it back. I can't tell. I can't either. It looks, it looks high in the video. I agree, but I, I don't... You felt good though? I felt pretty confident. Yeah, I felt confident on it. All right, you guys, we're up. Uh, I just came down to check on the shot. Uh, watching the video back, it looked, it looked kind of high. I couldn't tell if that was the, the exit going out, but um, right here at the shot site, we've got good blood. So that's good. We've got good dark red blood. Just go ahead and try to track this dude down. <sighs> Hopefully this is Stephanie's first buck. Okay guys, I just found her deer. That deer didn't go 70 yards, but she doesn't know that. She made a great shot. So at this point, she thinks that she might have made a bad shot. I am so proud of her. She made such a good shot. I can't, I can't wait to see her reaction to her first buck. Have you ever tracked before? Yeah. You have? What have you tracked down? Here. You tracked down deer before? Yeah. Wow. Well, we're about to go uh, try to track one down, okay? Okay. Ready, Mom? Yeah, why don't I just go ahead and wear him? Okay. Now that my shooting duties are over. Your shooting duties are over. You can wear him now. Go. Kids in tow. We'll start at the scene of the crime right here. All right, babe, so you feel good about the shot? I do, I felt really good about the shot. Okay, well, the video, you know, it looked kind of high. Uh, it did. Look good. But look right here. So we got we got good bright red color. That's what we want. 
We got some more right here. And I watched back the video and I saw he ran down this road a little bit. But, Emmy, you want to come too? Yes, I do. Okay. You want, you might on. want to leave corn right there. Corn in the seat. Corn is so dirty. Okay, so. There you go. Good job. Good eye. Yeah. So I've got my, my gun and then the backpack at the last blood. And that's where we got to go from there. So he ran through here. Look at this cactus right here. Follow me. Stepping right where Daddy is stepping. Don't touch these. These are very bad. And this is kind of where we're at. So just kind of follow. Uh, you just need to follow like wherever you see blood. Put you down. Get me out. Okay. Get me I'll put you down. Here you go. You see blood? Okay. Hang on. Are you still seeing it? You see it right there? That's good. Yeah, I think I saw him head this way on video. But it kind of thins out, you know? Yeah. Kind of stops. I think it's a leaf. It can kind of be tricky. It can be tricky sometimes. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! You're not you, stepping cactus. You oh did it, babe. My gosh, that's you, not. That's like a hundred yards from the. It's less than that. It's not even seventy yards. Oh my gosh! Oh, stepping cactus. What a buck! And guess what? You made a perfect shot. <laughs> Guys. Perfect shot on Good a deer. Day. Oh my god, I'm sweating. I'm sweating. Good job. Oh Look at your buck. My gosh. With my two kids. <laughs> Emmy, what do you think? What do you think, Emmy? This is mommy's buck. Oh my god, that's a perfect shot. You did you did great. That's that's actually uh that's textbook right there. That's textbook. So you did you did phenomenal. For some reason, it looked it looked so high. It looked yeah. higher on the video. It made me get yeah. I'm starting to get really sad. What a beautiful eight point buck. <laughs> you know, I thought this this deer was really cool. I liked his his G twos right here. He's dark horned, and uh, you know he's just a mature buck. And I thought he'd be a great one for you to take. This is so much bigger than my first buck <laughs> I ever shot. Like you don't understand. <laughs> He's beautiful. He's gorgeous. Good job, Emmy. Oh what do you think about God. those those antlers? Is that cool? I like those antlers. Mm -hmm. oh. And he's a really healthy buck too. He's gonna be good good to eat. So you knew he was. I already back. I already found him, but I wanted you to find him. So. Well, I like I like the way you did that. Thank you. Oh my gosh! What a champion, mom. What a champion mom. Can you believe it, y'all? If you were not smashing the like button right now, something is wrong with you. What do you think? Well, I've never, I've never been like up close to them, first of all, because I don't even think I've been on like a hunt with you and seen this up close. So it's, it's kind of unreal. It's surreal, actually. It's an awesome feeling, right? It is. You see how people can get addicted to it? It's an awesome feeling knowing that I didn't hurt him. You know, he was only in pain. It was, yeah, it was, he went down as soon as he basically left, exited the frame I think that's on video. I'm most proud of. Well, you made a fantastic shot. We're going to make that deer sausage like you wanted. And uh, we'll probably do a, a little Euro skull on that guy. because he's, he's got some really cool antlers, a fantastic call buck uh, to take out here. And then we can't forget about little baby Ben, who's <laughs> done so time. good. Uh, we should give assist points, Emmy. High five to you and your brother Ben. They were quiet like long enough. Well, first of all, the deer and came you. in really early, which was fantastic. But and you. anyways, and we were all quiet. It just all came together. It was it was a god thing. Yeah. High five. Good so job. Are we gonna celebrate? Yeah. I think we did fantastic work. You especially. 
and what an awesome first deer Team go give a kiss. Mm. and i'm proud of you babe thank you i'm proud of you the whole entire internet world right now watching this is proud of you as well so all right let's get them loaded up let's head back to camp Got your camera too, like dad. Sit in one of the well, how do you feel this morning? I feel pretty good. I feel like a champion. You should. <laughs> you are a motherly champion. Look at her cute little daughter. She looks like a little deer. She does. The little woods girl. Love to see it. My outfitting of the of the children. Is fairly <laughs> pretty on point. on point, I would say. <laughs> Where do you want to take it? I just want to stand up like this. Oh, you want to stand up on it? Like yeah. a, <laughs> a lock? Okay. I just well. want to stand up like this. Okay. <laughs> you want it to stand up like that. <laughs> I want it to stand up. <laughs> she goes, I want it to stand up like, like this. Not like that. Want me to hold you? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. We did what seemed like was going to be impossible. Calm down. For probably two years, you've been telling me, I want to get a deer. Timing never lined up, right? It never lined up. We've been having kiddos. <laughs> and finally, I just said like, all right, if, if we're going to do it, we better do it. Because kids are always going to be kids. They're always going to be, you know, running around and everything. Toddlers in the blind, y'all, I will say is tough. What tips would you give someone that's going to take their family hunting for the first time? I will see. Take them in. Something, something to distract them. We use the iPad and we turn the volume all the way down. So silence that iPad. I also let her choose out some snacks before we left so that she, like those special snacks that she knew that she was going to get in the blind. Um, and then we also got, I've ordered the kids some ear protection before I left. So she had some little ear pink, pink And she ear. did like wearing them. She did, she loved wearing them. You wanted to get just a practice sit in the blind. We ended up seeing the deer that I've seen on camera. I put a lot of homework in just to make sure that this would line up. We'd have a good chance, but the deer actually did come and he was just a dominant deer for that area and uh, he kind of pushed everything else out once once he would get in there so yeah. i got i got all the meat cleaned up last night and uh we're gonna take it to the processor tomorrow we've got it all in a cooler um everything looks good quartered neck meat everything we're gonna make breakfast sausage is is what that you was said my you request wanted. always good to have a full cooler full of delectable outdoor treats but this was a huge challenge huge accomplishment the family photo will be <laughs> happily placed on our mantle somewhere um, stories to come stories to come but man oh. just a big memory a shout out to um explore the outdoors oh book. we have two book we have two book plugs right now explore man, the outdoors explore book. the outdoors books they write kids books for uh, fishing, hunting, just general stuff. I think they're from Texas. Yes, they had a book about going to deer camp and we read that at home before we came here and honestly it lined up just so perfectly. It so explains. She, she explains, she understood everything. It's like a game to be quiet with the deer and everything. And uh, it was really educational. Number two, Number you should, you I was should, gonna say, can I plug this you one? You should get our cookies out. <laughs> I went ahead and made some of the cookies from our cookbook. Um, for the camping trip. These cookies are called the Woodsman cookies. This is my favorite. She made these for this trip. They're so good. What is in here? Tell what, them. Okay, um, so these, the base is ground pecans and this, there's got anise in there, there's got cinnamon, there's um, rum. Oh, Amy. Oh. Come back. <laughs> You're okay. That's okay. Want a little cookie? You want a cookie? Mm -hmm. Oh, that makes everything. There's anise, there's rum extract, there's vanilla extract. So basically this cookie was owed, owed to the woodsman. Everything in the outdoors. It tastes very earthy. Earthy goes <laughs> great sweet. with a little bit of whiskey. So go grab your copy of my cookbook. Uh, well, you yeah, put it's the linked link down below. It's right. linked down below. So uh, thank you guys for tuning in to this episode. 
and more family outdoor adventures to come. Uh, we are going to do some more, more camping with the Opus coming up here soon. But uh, yeah, comment down below. Make sure to smash it. And we'll see you guys in the great outdoors later. God bless you.